Yo, what's poppin' everybody? This is another podcast with Hottest Pete. If you enjoy this, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified for other videos like this one. Thanks in advance, I really appreciate it. This time I'm going to talk about the New York Knicks-Philadelphia 76ers game that ended a few minutes ago in the south of Philadelphia. The final score was 103-96. to The New York Knicks got the win. Anyway, I think I've noticed that Andre Drummond isn't the player he used to be in the past. But regardless of that, he's still a force to be reckoned with because, as we saw tonight, he broke Charles Barkley's record. Rebounds. 25. Amazing. Korkmaz uh, started off red hot with consecutive three-pointers. The 24-year-old shooting guard slash um, small forward from Turkey. He's 6'7". I'm surprised that he's an NBA player. He wasn't so good when he used to play here in Europe with uh, Anadolu Efes and Bandvit. But he made it in the States. Hard work, good coaches, etc. Fournier started uh, to get going too for the Knicks. And the, the Knicks were actually grabbing a lot of crucial rebounds because the Sixers were missing a lot of shots. The first quarter ended 28-21. to The Knicks were in the lead. Todd Gibson returned. His experience is important for the Knicks. We need him a lot. I love how he spins and avoids opponents. He really knows how to play the game of basketball. You know what I'm saying? When he's in the paint under the basket, he's amazing, strong. Paul Reed is a specialist when it comes to loose balls. Even Doc Rivers said it, the coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. He actually portrayed it tonight as well. IQ, Emmanuel quickly, drained a three-pointer in the second quarter. And then, of course, he drained a lot more. He's got to start contributing more, I think. He's talented and he can do even better. He can play as like he played tonight in most games. Even though the Sixers didn't have a lot of players for them tonight, I mean, they were absent because of COVID-19, uh, the Knicks were still playing damn good defense. Unfortunately, Nerlens Noel got injured. That was unfortunate for our team. We'll see how he is, how he's feeling. The Knicks went on a 17-3 run, rebounding, defense, three-pointers. Everything was running smooth for the Knicks. There were Knicks fans in the building. Yeah, Philly isn't too far away from New York. It's like a a one-hour and 50-minute maybe flight, or maybe an hour and five-minute flight or something. Anyway, at halftime, the score was 58-44. to New York was ahead. Then in the third quarter... Tyrese Maxey was looking good on the court. I like the youngster. It was as if the Knicks were trying to get revenge for their loss last night against the Cleveland Cavaliers at home. Basically against Ricky Rubio, because we lost because of him. Anyway, Philadelphia had three starters out, as I said, with COVID-19. Among them, of course, was uh, the Australian, Thibault. I think his name is Thibault. And, uh, of course, the Cameroonian... Joel Embiid, who's their best player, their star player, the center, the big guy, who always gets into trouble with a nasty attitude. Anyway, Andre Drummond was amazing as their starter tonight, as a center. He's from Mount New Vernon, New York, like uh, Denzel Washington, one of the greatest actors in the world. Seth Curry, who's uh, Steph's brother, caused Devin Fournier to have a fo- like foul problems. He had four, I remember. Early in the third quarter, then Danny Green, who became a champ with many teams like the Raptors, the Lakers, even the San Antonio Spurs, I think, uh, he started scoring. I mean, the Knicks were lax at some point in the third quarter, especially. Alec Burks didn't play too good against his former team. I think he knocked down one or two three-pointers, and that was it. The Knicks were missing a lot of shots in the third quarter. They were also committing a lot of turnovers. So at the end of the third quarter, the score was 72-69. to The Knicks were barely in the lead from a double-digit differential to just three points. IQ was on fire in the fourth. That was like a blessing for the Knicks. Like they needed someone to step up because Randall was missing missing like free throws again. But other than that, he had a good night because he scored a lot of points. But it's frustrating to watch these guys miss like consecutive free throws like back to back coach Tibbs had uh, his experienced guys on the court to blend with IQ to blend in with him you know 
like Taj Gibson and uh, Derrick Rose. Luckily, R.J. Barrett was brilliant once again tonight. Three-pointers, layups, everything. You just can't miss so many three-pointers when you're wide open. Anyway, Niang, the uh, Niang for the Philadelphia 76ers, knocked down a crucial three for Philadelphia. He almost tied the game there, but then Korkmaz was also amazing. He really surprised me tonight. Randall had five for nine, I think, from the three-point line. From behind the three-point line, that is. But we just want him to be even better than that. I don't know. But he had a great second half. He scored a lot of points in the second half. The Sixers uh, ran short because of their absences. And uh, some Sixers fan threw a ball in the court, a small little red ball. What an idiot, anyway. <laughs> Drummond broke Charles Barkley's record, as I said earlier. 25 rebounds. Amazing. Congratulations to him. The Knicks have just settled things with a 13-3 to run in the fourth quarter. So that's how we came to the final score of 103-96. to Congrats to the Knicks. Thanks for listening. Tune in next time. I'm out. Peace.